Well, good afternoon, guys. I'm going to do a little bit different video, and I hope that the old cotton ball trick is covering up the wind. Um, it's, last I checked, it was 101 today. The wind is blowing, they say, sustained winds of uh, 30 to 40 mile an hour with the gusts up over 60. So, but the reason I'm doing this video is to show you how to put up um, an Ozark Trail uh, pole tent. We got our tent out of storage and are ready to sell it. And so I wanted to get pictures and I couldn't remember, we couldn't remember how to put it together or how to put it up. We spent over two hours Googling, YouTubing, anything we could to figure this out. And um, I thought, you know what, I'm once we got it figured out, I'm going to show people how to do this. Hopefully it'll help someone else. Um, I believe it's a, oh my goodness, WZ 1621 or something like that. I'll have to put it in the description. But it's an Ozark Trail. Uh, we've had it for, oh man, since the 90s when the kids were little. And, um, well, not when they were little, but, uh, you know, when we had all the kids home, all four kids, we slept six in here very, very comfortably. Um, I'm going to say that, uh, I don't know how many they're going to call it. I've seen them pack them in here. They may call it a 12-person tent. I, I don't know. I've seen diagrams of how that, what they call these huge tents. But um, just to let you know, this, I can't get very good pictures, and I apologize, but it took up my whole side yard. Um, first, we staked it to the ground, the four corners, and laid it out. And that's when we realized we didn't know what we were doing, so we looked and looked and finally uh, came up with this. First of all, the poles are color-coded. I'm going to go to the other side because I know right where the codes are, the colors are. And I don't know if it makes any difference. This is a, I think they called it a three-room tent. It's a two-room tent with a screened-in area. The screened-in part doesn't have a floor. Made it just a little bit more confusing for us, but didn't take long to figure it out. Anyway, the poles are color-coded. And we'll go up here and I'll show you. These are the red poles. So what you do is you look for the red poles. And you'll have a, a red one that goes straight across and you string it. I guess I should step back, sorry. You can see where we ran that straight pole through there and hooked it into the red poles. Then um, came down the side here. And when you get to the bottom of the red poles, it has this little flip up thing, which uh, that's the bottom piece it hooks on and you could slide it up and down and latch it with that thing. So while I held on to this, um, the old farmer, he got the blue poles. And the blue poles go on either end. You do the same thing. You run it through here, hook it in, and then put all your blue poles together and set it up just like that. So then I hung on to the red poles on this one, and um, he did the same thing on this side with the other set of blue poles. And you can see where they come together. And yeah, these strings, you can tie them on. But um, just to let you know, we did this in 15 minutes, just the two of us, um, in this wind. Yes, it's protected because we put it on one end of the house and we have a fence around it. But there's still pretty good wind whipping through here. You can see that. And I'll just show you the inside. The reason we put it up, we took it out of storage. We wanted to put it up so I could post pictures. I'm going to sell it. I'll unzip the doors and step inside. So you can tell the wind's blowing. It's supposed to be stake down and we have all the stakes for it but this is pretty cool there's a doorway and entrance here first of all you stepped into the screened in porch and um, we always put a tarp down there 
uh, used it a lot. But you step in here, and this is a pretty nice little tent. There's a room here. Uh, a room here. I don't know what they would call this. Like I said, I've, the pictures I see, they're stacked in here like mummies. I suppose you're just supposed to sleep like that and not move all night. And then from this room, it steps into... The doors can be zippered shut. The main room, the big room. And um, you can see the wind's whipping it pretty good, but it's holding down. And this is exactly one half of the tent. I think this tent is 15 by 11 or 12, something like that. And it has a fly thing on it. What do they call that? A rain fly. It's got for holding lights or whatever you want to hold in it. But it's a really, really nice tent. But I thought if somebody wanted to know how to put one of these tents together because we lost our instructions and it took us quite a while, and there, I just couldn't find any other information anywhere. Hope this helps someone else. I uh, need to do a, I don't know what you call it, an edit, whatever, to my video. I, when I held this thing up, I thought it went over the uh, screened-in porch area. This tent was called a three-room tent when we bought it. And my assumption was it was that screened in area was the third room. This here is the third room divider. It goes between the two. Uh, it's my understanding that the newer Ozark multi-room tents all have this. It's not the best thing, but anyway, to show those of you that want to put these together, these little button things here, they clip on these rings and they do clip, excuse me, all the way down into the corners. Um, not real private, but, and then you can, there's a zipper down the middle. It makes this room over here the same size as the room off to the side of the screened room. And so the other room is over here. And if you're wondering what all that dust is, we had a horrible dust storm last night here.